It is the year 2039. Fortnite Ninja is about to run for his fifth term as president. I still somehow have more than three subscribers, and the 33.0 update in BT6 came out 17 years ago, which means I will be the last person to make a video on this update. The reason why it took me so long to review this update is that there was no new Churchill skin. This made me really mad as it has officially been 25 updates since he last got a skin. In those 17 years, BT6 was discontinued in 2030 when update 104.0 came out. Now we have BT7, which is far superior as when you load this skin, you are greeted with Poker Night 2. This made me really happy as Ninja QE finally understood that the best way to make a good video game is to encourage child gambling. Now onto this ancient piece of history, the 33.0 update. This was okay. Because I don't know what to put in the background, I'll just use some boss gameplay that I have from when the update came out all those years ago. Major update, because a singular paragon in two maps is really game changing. If they added the Churchill skin, then this would have truly been an epic update. They added a few cosmetics, and I do hate most of them, except for the banana monkey. This makes me very happy. They also made many changes to the contested territories, including adding Polish and Monkeylish, a language that they made up. So basically, they added a language that is probably not real, something that people are trying to decipher, and doesn't make any sense. And Monkeylish. Apparently now there are linking codes for epic clients. I'm pretty sure I'm epic in the eyes of Ninja Q. <laughs> Meaning I will get a linking code. If I can't get a creator code, I'll at least get a linking code. It took me this long to realize that they actually added a paragon to this game. A giant airplane. At 800,000 cash, you will have to make sure your eco game is strong, but Doomship's power is balanced to that lofty setup cost. Yet you say that Ninja Kiwi as you proceed to nerf the best farming method in the game, murder the Monkeyopolis, and make this boss event have no monkey knowledge. Thank you Ninja Kiwi, I appreciate it. The tower also has a carpet bomb ability, allowing you to commit genuine war crimes in BTD6. I have no idea how to feel about this without attracting the attention of the authorities in my area. I'll show you footage of me using the tower later on, but for now, let's go over some balance changes. Bottom path darts got a buff. I don't really care about it. However, they buffed the ice monkey. Now Ninja Kiwi, you know me very well. Well enough to know that I should not be trusted with the creator code. But if you knew me very, very well, you would know that I hate the ice monkey. I hate you. I hate you. I hate- Oh hey, fast darts got buffed. That's cool. Anyway, I hate you. Another interesting balance change is that they buffed Claptrap, so now he is no longer the stupidest player at Clap the table. Traps. Okay, there are a lot of balance changes, but I actually do not care about any of them. So let's skip to the bottom of the page. Wait, wait, we're getting a new tower? That's so cool. I now care about this game slightly more than I did before. Ninja Kiwi thinks it's a good idea to add a beast handler to the game. Now I do hope that they model it after me as I have to handle you strange gremlins saying the saddest things in my comment section. Besides that, they also announced creators who will be getting a creator code and they didn't mention me! Look at this, they gave Tweety one. I don't know what to say about him. They gave one to Ethan Reed. Now he's cool. That's his compensation for having one of the worst achievements in the game named after him. Trippy Pepper, his most popular video is on Duck Life. Wait. Why does Duck Life give you so many views? SJB, he leaked the real BT6 trailer, so Ninja Kiwi had to scrap the whole project and give us this game. If only he never released that video, then we could have been playing as SJB on Psychedelics. He also has a science channel. It's strange to believe that this man would also have a one hour video on genetic engineering. I said, he made a video on him being a balloon's finance teacher. However, he did not go in depth on tax deductions, 100% off discounts, and insurance fraud, so I do not like like him. Boltrix, he's too buff to be a balloons YouTuber. It's like having a gambling addiction, but you keep winning. Is it a bad thing? No, but it's not supposed to happen. Aiden's, the balloon, a Lucian. Sure, H bomb. Now this is a man that I respect. He taught me how to do an exploit live on stream. Turns out it's not actually an exploit, but still, he is very cool. I don't know about Asian sensation or Twebri. Twebri, Twebri. I don't care. But I do know that Jerome is pretty cool. I actually remember watching this video when I was your age, so I'm okay with him having a creator code. Ninja Kiwi is also planning on giving more creator codes out, so if I don't get a creator code in the next update, I will sue somebody. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to show you the ace paragon in the game. Here we have the Goliath Doomship. I don't know how to feel about it, but it does have an ability, making it the first paragon with an ability. By the way, I still haven't used the engineer paragon yet. It's been almost 20 years, and I still don't have enough money to buy it in a 
game. I'm gonna use the Ace's ability right now at the worst possible time, and wow, it did a whole 10 damage. This was worth 800k. Apparently, it does a lot of damage, but I used it at the perfect time where it does the lowest amount of damage possible. So that was the update. 2 out of 10. Poke Knight 2 is way better. I think I might actually start making good videos soon. Anyway, I need to get back to my wife and kids, so I'll see you later. Wait, what day is it? Oh my god! It's 2022! I don't have a wife! Wait, then where did these kids come from?